Hey, what's up guys? It's the same old G, RPG Hobo, right back at you. And um, I, uh, I want to, I want to start uh, today right in the in in the, the mix of things, the midst of things. I'm gonna find a way not to. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm I'm getting uh, acclimated to the, the the shooting video scheme again. So the whole idea. So so I made a a couple of videos. Um, way back. Uh, I don't know how long. Look, I, I yesterday I, I said I was like out for like uh, at least two years or something like that. But when I went on the on the channel, I I, I didn't check the dates, but uh, it was not two years. It was like at least a year <laughs> because it doesn't tell you how long. But maybe a year and a couple of months. I don't probably obviously a year and a couple of months, not two. All right, so it wasn't that long, and uh, I'm uh, and I made some videos way back. So it was about um, uh, burning wheel flaws. So I think I thought about that today. I was wondering, like, is it what I'm going to talk about today? Is it a flaw or? something else like just maybe just uh, a consequence of of the design of the game so this video is about uh how to be burned how to be uh this is this is so not a pun intended but it's so pu punny i don't know how to say that in english it looks like a pun uh, how not to be burned on burning wheel right it's like how to avoid um, burning yourself on on burning wheel. Okay, so uh, this is a game I played a, a lot. I played uh, I played probably too much actually, uh, and over a certain period of time, right? Because you know, there's a. I think I do think now that there is a healthy way. To go about game and also a healthy way to go about your fun and fun in general if you if you indulge too much if you indulge too much in uh, an activity you like you like you all know it's the same with food same with sex same with uh, drugs or whatever eventually uh, it will not work anymore. Either, either it, it will become like just a, 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 a soft, uh, for the lack of a better word, a soft version of of what it used to be for you, like a, a watered down version of what it used to be for you. You know, so people who drink a lot of alcohol, you know, when you're young, you drink one beer, two beer, and you're drunk. And when you get older and then you drink a lot, you need uh, 12 beers and like a bottle of wine to get the fix you need, right? Because your body gets used to it. So the same thing with fun, the same thing with happened to me. Uh, and I would say, I would argue, it's really similar to what's going on with uh, the games you play. Either the video games you play or the RPG. So, um, or the tabletop, whatever. So the board games. So uh, here's what happened. So I, we, we, I, I played Burning Wheel uh, pretty much every day, or at least maybe three, three, maybe four times a week when I first encountered the game, when I first started to play the game. And uh, so I was, so we played way too much. We played a lot, and uh, it was a whole. It was really, really fun. We played like that for maybe almost two years, at least a year and a half. So I, I, I told this, that story before. And then we, 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 we took a break, a long break, you know, discover other games, starting to do other things, uh, you know, and then eventually play the game. And then, uh, and, but we did not, the, 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 
the way we played uh, afterward we played maybe once a week or twice a week not like uh, three times a week or something like that so um, what I want to say is that yeah so the second time around when we uh, when we start to play again, I uh, eventually uh, started to uh, get burned again, but not in the same way. I was not burned the same way that the first time did. Like so, let me explain what I mean by that. So when I'm saying that I am burned by playing burning wheel I make a distinction with the GMing part of it and the playing part of it burning wheel as when you're a GM is easy for at least for me it's easy I'm gonna make a video about that <laughs> I just remember how ideas used to come to me when I'm making videos for for other videos <laughs> it's crazy i need to take notes i have good memory i have good memory it will, it will all come back all right so because when you gma burning wheel um it's kind of like you know the players know the players have so much to do in burning wheel you know they have uh they, ha they have their belief and their and their their they have their uh, their threats, they have their instinct, and the game is all about consequences, right? So you roll the dice and you, you, you do an intention, it's intention based. So the players take their intention and then they, um, the dice go about it. And, and the, 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 the only thing the GM needs to do is to uh, provide consequences. And then, you know, the wheel starts turning and as the player tackle incessantly their belief, uh, well, they eventually, eventually the, the, the game is about those beliefs and you don't really need as a GM to think about all the beliefs all the time. You, you can, and, and maybe you should, but you don't really have to that much. All right, so so it's not that heavy. Some people put a lot of pressure on their shoulders, and obviously, you know, as the, as GMs, and they, uh, you know, they they really want to create specific things for every belief on the sheets of the players, and but you don't really have to. The game is gonna run itself. All right, but anyway, so 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 that's the GM part. So that part is not really doesn't really burn me I'm there and I'm enjoying the show kind of thing but as a player this is where it uh, it, it gets a little bit uh, uh, warm <laughs> uh, pun intended so the way it goes is that the game starts and you you need to write beliefs on your on your sheet and you have instincts and stuff and you need to look at how you want to how you want to play the game <clears throat> because it's a game about you know character and, and and their stories and their beliefs so that's the nature of burning wheel that's what makes it famous and that's what makes it good but when you play a lot eventually something weird happened i don't know and if, to all the burning wheel people out there let me know what you think so the thing the thing is this you play <clears throat> and then you start to um, you, you start to uh, how can I say that you, you start to uh, only go for the belief so you look at your sheet and then there is a you know you know the, the how the mind works sometimes with gaming it works like an optim optimizer you always want to optimize. You want to. You always want to get the max out of it, like the min maxers and the power gamers and all that. So since Burning Wheel, 
as an economy to it. It's the idea like I need to go get my Artha. My Artha. The Artha is the points, are the points that you get at the end of the game. And the points, they, uh, what they do is that they, they, they give you bonuses on your die roll and makes the, the game flow and go. And so the mindset of a burning wheel player is I need to tackle my belief in a certain way in order to maximize my art result at the end. It's not written that way in the book and it doesn't have to be that way. I just want to make that clear. But the way the mind, when you play a game, it's kind of like a competition. For some reason, it, it kind of become like that. It doesn't have to. <laughs> I just want to stress that out. But for some reason, the, the natural design of the game, and what happened is that, you know, every, let's say there are four players, and they all have three beliefs. What they do? My intent is to do this, according to the belief. My intent is to do Y according to the belief my intent my intent is to do x according to the belief and then those get you know conflictual in one another and you roll the dice and then and you push you push for your beliefs all right so so eventually it, it, it kind of like it's kind of like natural and and every game you play that's what you do so one thing that it creates after a while is that you know what's gonna happen. You know exactly where <clears throat> the game is gonna go. You don't know because the dice haven't, haven't rolled yet. But it's always the same thing that you are doing. You get to the table, you write new belief, and as soon as the game starts, my intent is to do that belief. My intent is to do that thing. My intent is to do that thing. And, and it becomes kind of like, I don't wanna say boring, but it becomes like, a predictable experience like you know exactly how it's gonna go you go there you 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 uh you discuss beliefs with people and then you push for those and and at the end when you give arthur it becomes a little bit like a, a fool's errand like where um, that's, not, that's, that's not a good expression, but and it's just like, okay, so I pushed that belief, I did that, I did that, okay, get your fate, get your fate, get your fate points, it's fate points. Oh, this one I finished, okay, get the persona, and it becomes just this routine. It's really redundant. I don't know how, um, how I can say that. So, when you play Burning Wheel, and you play too much, for, for too long, and you don't play other games. One thing that it does is that you get stuck and every people around the table get stuck in the relationship between the sheets and the, and, and the belief on the sheets, the Arthur, and how to play as a, as a person, as a player. And that triangularity there becomes really annoying. Me, whenever I sit, I see, I, whenever I see the character sheet on the table in front of me. I know I'm getting into that thing. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like I, I, I look at it and I'm like, okay, that's, that's how it's going to be. And when I'm listening to the other people around the table, it's almost like there is no role play. There is role play. But the role play is, serves only for the intent that is soon gonna be stated that it's all about the beliefs. And so, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to explain. If you haven't played the game, you, you, might, you might be a little confused. Uh, but yeah, so this is how I got burned. So basically, if to, to make a synthesis, is that what makes Burning Wheel so great is that. So the belief, the bits, belief and stints and threats and all that, 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 <clears throat> that economy, <clears throat> sorry, with the Arta, but um, it's all when you. But it feels like because when you take a pop, when you take a break, let's say you play. I don't know. You play once a month, or you take a break 
for a while and then you come back to it it fades away so you get back to the real nice experience of you know writing cool beliefs and having a really character driven story and and the satisfaction of getting the Arthur at the end and all that and, but when you but after a while it comes back again and you're like oh fuck okay my intent is to I'm gonna play my first belief roll the dice da, da, da. okay I got my fate point so basically basically you know it doesn't have to be that way you can be really like a good way actually a good way to avoid that it's to be really strict on Arta expenditure oh, not, not expenditure but uh, Arta reward so if you're really severe and strict on Arta reward it breaks that but if you're really lenient and easy going and give a lot of Arta easily at the end of, the, of, uh, of each session that's gonna come back really really fast it's gonna come back really really fast and yeah that's too bad right because it's like the game needs arthur to fuel itself but it at the same time what it does is that it it kind of like take away the, the the grinding for it it kind of takes away the the, the the nice part of you know taking the time to write the good beliefs taking the time to get in character for them and then <clears throat> you know uh, applying it you know for the for the fun of it so yeah so i don't know if, if that makes sense that's the way i got burned you know uh with burning wheel as a player because that's a player thing and <clears throat> i need to take a break and i think it's going to be a long one but i hope it's going to come back because the thing is that <clears throat> i'm sorry the thing is that if burning wheel is good for a long campaign it really shines over time but I realized that when I come back to it, I have fun for a few sessions. <laughs> and then that, that, that uh, experience comes back again. Th that experience of just like, I feel like, okay, it's just a procedural thing, right? Okay, I have those beliefs there. The game is about that. If I don't do that, I don't get the art. If I don't get the art, I don't, you know, I don't progress. I don't, so, okay, I need to, I need to just go about that and so I go about that and then the session is over and I'm, okay I did my job I did my job of you know uh, uh, pushing with my belief and uh, rolling the dice and then do it again and then wait for consequences and then do it again and then oh it's over okay get the heart up and then do it again <laughs> you know so that's the difference with the burning wheel, for example, and, and, a, and, a, and a more traditional game with there's no belief on the sheet, nothing, just numbers and a few threats or something like that. And then it's just free form, freestyle, free form. Now, now you, you never know what you're going to get into every night. You know, you get into a session one night, you don't know. It's according to the last one and to what has been prepped for you or what you guys are going to come up with. And, and it's a real discovery, right? Because you have to write something yourself on your sheet that you're gonna go to get yourself, kind of thing, right? So anyway, so I'm gonna finish on that note. Thank you for watching. Um, I, I, it's really interesting because if you watch my, my, my first video about Burning Wheel, what I'm describing here was the very thing I liked so much about the game. When I first started to play it and today that's the thing that got me burned on it kind of thing really really interesting really interesting it says a lot about the nature of fun it says a lot about the nature of game design 
the power that the design has on your phone and also like maybe the, the ethics the ethics of gaming you know you need to uh, you need to, to be careful you need to be careful Jesus Christ you need to be careful with um, with your uh, with what you're doing with your fun because you uh, you, uh, you if you burn yourself it's not gonna be fun anymore so there's also an ethic part to it somehow all right thank you guys for watching talk to you soon